Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is But a Window. Today we are going to be doing another Overwatch. And as you can see here, this guy has 4 kills, 140 damage round with a 75% headshot percentage. There are two guys on site, and he's about to peek out. A little bit of lag right there when he peeked out, but he's able to get the guy and CT spawn. One guy try box. It doesn't seem like he knows that he's there. Definitely knows he's there now, and he takes him down. It only leaves one guy left, and this guy is coming up through CT spawn. Takes out his teammate, sprays his AK, and he's able to take him down. So far, nothing looks overly suspicious at this point. He had a couple of nice shots. A little bit of lag or something with his mouse, it seems like. It's kind of skipping to one area really quick. But we'll keep an eye on that and make sure it's not anything more than just that. A little hop here in B-Tunnels, but nothing to be concerned about. Eh, not really using a bunny hop script from what I can tell. He is kind of sitting here though for a moment. Maybe texting someone, maybe alt tabbed. Not entirely sure, but he's in a pretty safe spot for right now. Well, whatever he was doing, he just came back to find that he's now in a 1v5. So, let's see what he decides to do. One guy is pushing up on him, he's holding an A. The guy peeks out, he flicks over to him. Be able to flick over to this next guy and take him down as well. Good recoil control. His flicks are incredibly quick, I believe. Looks like it snaps to the guy very fast. Looks like he's looking all around. He seems to know that there's a guy coming from behind him, I think. No? Not gonna pull anything? Maybe he doesn't. Then again, why walk around with a knife anyways? He's going to make his way over here towards the B site. One guy is over by the van. Jumps up. And you see, very, very quick aim. If anything, he's got it set to toggle straight to someone's chest. Which is really odd, but... As we keep watching, hopefully we'll get a better idea if that is the case. Now there are two guys here in kitchen, well not kitchen, but uh, market. Flicks over to that guy as he comes out. Considering how slow and smooth his aim is, I'm surprised he does do flicks like that. That's what makes me suspicious that he might have some kind of aim toggle, but it's not towards the head, that's for sure, and it's not doing a very good job. We saw one guy peek up for a second. And his teammate's able to uh, sneak up behind him and go down. <laughs> Didn't really do too much. And this guy is peeking on stairs, and the suspect's able to connect with a 1D. Comes out on the guy's head for a moment, doesn't take a shot, and ooh. Ooh, that was sick. That looked like an aimbot. Sees a guy on cat, not able to connect with any real shots on that, and we're getting shot from CT spawn. I always found it interesting that people can configure their cheats per weapon, so that you'll be watching someone and he's been like shooting people in the chest with an AK and he'll switch to a scout and headshot everyone. Hello, there is a guy up here. He's able to take him down with a headshot. Looking over towards Catwalk. A guy is flanking him. He doesn't seem to know he's there. Out. Definitely does not seem like he's using wall hacks. Sprays at this guy and is able to take him down at market. Now, one guy left, flanking all the way around them. Has been he's gonna hide here by bench. Meanwhile, the guy's gonna. I think he's going to try to save his gun and CT spawn, but I'm not entirely sure. Looks like he is. Comes in contact with that other terrorist. They know where he's at now, so they don't really need to watch Catwalk. They're going to rotate off the bomb.
All right, now he's making his way back over here towards the B site. Throwing smoke. Throwing fire. Deploying flashbang. Pulled his AK out. Yeah, he's making his way over. I wonder if he's going to try to jump up on the van again. No, but he does jump in front. He spots him out. And the suspect tries to connect with a shot but isn't able to. One more of those incredible little flicks where he starts shooting one way, he flicks over to the target. It's so weird the way he plays. Still though, he was able to get the kill. What do you guys think in the comments below? Let me know. Can't really tell myself if he's using something, but it does, in a lot of situations, look like he locks onto their chest. See how he plays that? Really weird. It really does look like it's locking onto people's chests. When he starts spraying, it just kind of goes there. Wasn't able to connect with that. Alright, well he's going to get the bomb. And his teammate have that secured. And they know that the A site is pretty clear, but they are rotating over. And they are going to come into a bunch of CTs right here. He's able to take out one of them. Raise up the other one. Tries to get him a little bit through the wall. Isn't able to take him down. He does have time to plant right now. He's going to plant. Iguana sneaking around CT spawn. He's able to take down the guy in CT spawn. And he takes down the final guy. So he's got 20 kills. And it's only been 9 rounds. That's pretty impressive. That being said, his playstyle is a bit weird. It looks like he's using some kind of aim assistance that goes towards people's chests. But... It's something I haven't encountered before, and we do need to make sure that we're, this is evident beyond reasonable doubt. So we'll take out that guy flanking him. Leaves three guys alive, and he's got one teammate left. So he's going to try to peek up here. And peeks out, doesn't spot anyone, smokes up. One guy almost pushed him. He's that guy, he's able to spray him down, the other guy runs away from him. And he's able to connect with a headshot onto that guy. Alright, I know I'm going to make some enemies on this one. So, griefing charge, insufficient. Other external assistance, did not look like he was using a bunny hop script or anything like that. Vision assistance, insufficient. Only thing that I'm kind of torn on is aim assistance. What do you guys think? In my opinion, it looked a little shady, but I actually think that he was just using a higher sensitivity and maybe just flicking to the guy's chest and able to hold on to it. But I'm not entirely sure about that. Still though, since it was so abstract and something that was something that I don't normally see, I'm going to have to say insufficient on this one. Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below, am I right? Am I wrong about this one? To me it was a little bit hard to judge. But it was definitely a different type of playstyle. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day.